Hi guys, this is Farzan. Welcome back to Farzan Luzi again and I'm here with another new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit, how to color grade, how to read as a portrait. And this is a little bit uh, experiment type of tutorial. I also don't know what color I'm gonna get today. I uh, hope this will be fun. So let's jump into the Photoshop. Okay, I'll color grade and retouch this picture. This is a very beautiful picture with, uh, with green color. Yes, uh, green background, green leaves here and there. Uh, we'll uh, focus on the background and also with the uh, of course the subject. <laughs> we'll uh, take care of this intern also. Uh, so let's do it. Okay. At first, copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J. That's good. Okay. Let's change the uh, image mode to lab color. And select here, don't flatten. Uh, then go to the channels and select the A layer. Maybe you uh, know this process. Press Ctrl and A to select all. Now press Ctrl and C to copy. Now press. Uh, now select the B layer and press Ctrl and V to paste. Now press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection. And now active the lab layer. Look at this. The color grading. Uh, the half color grading is done you already uh, know this color grading how to do this you already know but i don't want this color grading right now i want uh, different types of color uh, okay uh, before that go to the rgb color mode again and select here don't flatten that's fine okay okay let's uh and increase the brightness and contrast a little bit so just a little not too much i think plus seven maybe and for contrast i think four or five this is fine i think this is fine okay now go to the selective color option i think yeah this is the most one of the most powerful uh, color grading option in photoshop let's play with the colors it's, let's do the experiment actually it's very uh, useful and powerful let's start with the red color okay I want a little bit of reddish type of skin tone here in the skin so let's decrease the sign value here and I'm going with around minus 19 I think this is fine okay so if you want to add a little bit magenta so go with plus 10 I think this is fine and for yellow just just a little bit yellowish on the skin so I'm going with plus 6 so now look at this before and after look at the skin tones mainly look at this this was the before and this is after just a little bit reddish and yellowish tone on the skin and now go to the yellows and here uh, same thing i'm going with around minus 29 uh, for cyan i think it will add more uh, reddish tone on the skin and then uh, okay let's go with plus 10 with the magenta and then for yellow i think let's add some yellowish tone so i'm going with plus 18 or 19 uh, for the yellow look at this look at the skin tones it looks nice right now and then the green but i don't think uh, there is enough green to work so i'm going with cyan okay now let's zoom in zoom out sorry and make it a little bit smaller i think this is fine i think you can see better right now and look at the color look at this it's beautiful i said it before i don't know what color i'm gonna get today so <laughs> this is experimental okay um maybe around 80 percent let's go with 80 80 85 maybe okay uh, now let's go with magenta look at this look at this darker color and the lighter color wow okay uh this time let's go with plus five okay for black if you want you can add uh some black uh, so i'm going with minus 10 look at this this was the before and this is after okay it enhances the sign a little bit and also uh, add some black okay so this is fine right now okay i'm going to another selective color layer so okay let's select the sign again and right now i am going with plus 100 for cyan and for magenta i am going with around minus 33 i'm a little bit lighter color and look at this one and for yellow wow look at this color look at this beautiful color look at this this is the before and this is after 
it's really beautiful just just experiment with these sliders and find your own color find this type of beautiful color you can change any color to uh, anything and this is very good and easy so but <laughs> i don't know okay uh uh i'm going with this color little bit greenish and bluish color i i think this is fine okay and i need to okay okay i need to decrease the black just a little so i'm going at minus 12 maybe and look at this this was the before and this is after actually this is the tutorial not uh, to show you the exact color i'll suggest you to experiment with this type of option the selective color the channel mixers even camera raw uh, and also the color lockup table that is also a very good option to color grade uh, so just experiment and find your own color make your uh, picture more colorful more beautiful and this is my main purpose to uh, show this type of tutorial to make this type of tutorial just experiment and find your own color okay that's fine okay uh, okay now i want to uh, open the color balance option and here is the mid tones and i'm just a little bit reddish color so i'm going with uh, maybe plus six for uh, cyan to red i think this one and for the shadows i'm going with minus just a little maybe minus four for green to magenta this is good look at this this was the before and this is after and to decrease this around maybe 60 percent so so this is it look at this this was the before and this is after look at the colors it's really looking good Okay, now I want to uh, fix the highlights of the face a little bit. So you can use uh, the highlights and shadows adjustment layer uh, and also use camera raw. I'll prefer to use it on camera raw. So for this, I want a new layer. Uh, so press shift plus control plus alter plus E to merge all the things into a single layer and then turn it into a smart object. Okay, and then open it on camera raw filter. Okay, now come to the basics option and I want to decrease the highlights i think i think this is fine look at this look at this face right now i think this is fine if you want you can increase the shadows just a little not too much and i want to increase the texture option this will help you to uh, add some sharpness a little bit you can also add sharpness uh, from the details option from here press and hold alter and then click on the masking option and drag like this so you can see where the effect is gonna apply so this is fine that's good and i want to add some uh the orange color on the skin a little bit more so i am uh, increasing the orange just a little and also the red color to increase this color and if you want you can add some vignette effect from here also i think i should decrease the highlights a little bit more i think i think this is fine this is it looks good okay so so i think i think it's done so look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good okay now i want to retouch the skin and for this i want uh, to use my action and you will get this action totally free just check the link on the description so i need another layer as for this shift plus control plus alter plus e and now go to the action panel and just uh, play the action. You'll get this action totally free. Just make sure you have subscribed me. Okay, let's zoom in. And I think 17 is too much. You can see the uh, little bit. So I think let's go. Oops, let's go with maybe uh, 13. I think 13 is fine or maybe 12 I'm going with 12 so press ok and radius I think 5.8 or 5.5 maybe 5.5 is looking really good to me so press ok and now just paint on the skin this is a very useful and handy I think this is the quickest way to make your skin smooth I 
think I think it looking great look at this this was the before and this is after and look at this this was the before retasting and this is after retasting you can always decrease the opacity from here if you think this is too much i think it's done okay and it's really good okay now on to uh pop up the eyes so create a new layer and pick the soft white brush let's zoom in okay uh now just paint on the eyeball like this with the white color okay just change the blending mode to overlay and decrease the city around maybe 27 percent let's zoom out and see look at this this was the before and this is after i think i should increase the opacity a little bit more i think 35 percent maybe okay this is really good I love this technique this is very easy and useful one okay now if you want you can add a uh, shine like dolls and barn it's a very simple technique create a curves for those effect just bring like this select on the mask and press ctrl and the i to hide and then again paint with the white soft brush just paint on the area where you like to add some shine this is very easy I think this area is done I think this is fine it's not fair it's not looking good just go to the filter then blur then select the Gaussian blur again and let's go with our own 25 pixel and look at this look at this look at this very carefully zoom in and see this was the before look at the shines and this is after it looks really good look at this look at the shines you can always decrease the opacity gain from here it's very easy so let's see the before and after overall look at this this was the before and this is after look at this it's really good it's useful so it's done the tutorial is done and you will get this color grading as an action on my patreon account so i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe